Near Cutbank, Montana, a rancher would sing the song The Farmer's Daughter to his daughter Candace. In this week's Montana Made, MTN's Keely Van Middendorp shows us that sentiment grew into a business that captures the treasure state's colorful culture. Spending her early years on a ranch near the Blackfeet Reservation, English says her Montana roots are saturated in a blend of cultures that are at the heart of the farmer's daughter fibers. Having a Native American mother and then a rancher for a dad, it was just, um, I realized how unique that kind of was. English says the combination of those two worlds inspire her business, which came to life after she decided to quit her corporate job. I was just not happy and instead of kind of settling for a nine to five job and being stressed out and um, all of these things that I was going to change that. So in 2015, English set out to find what was most needed in the fiber arts industry. Dyeing yarn seemed like it was, um, you know, a good idea. Starting in her basement, English began to hone her skills, watching tutorials, reading books and traveling to craft festivals and shows until hand dyeing yarn became second nature. Ta-da! Since then, the farmer's daughter Fibers has I'm moved behind the Columbus Fine. Center in the old hospital laundry facility. Another piece of history threaded through the business that adds uniqueness to their products. What we produce and the colorways we create are very much um, kind of a, a have a nostalgic feel to them. And so, um, you know, being in the building really just fit in with all of that. English credits her business's growth to the sentimentality We're of simpler times, which many find here in the last yeah, best place. Yeah. And when you're in the city or, you know, more urban areas, it's harder to do that. So I wanted to kind of be able to bring oh. that to people. Yeah. And so that I think is why we attract so many people yeah. outside of the My state. The While many think of the treasure state as a place of the past, English says Montana is full of culture, something she is proud to share wherever her yarn is shipped. Oh, I think that it's so amazing to see our stuff, you know, from Montana, inspired by Montana um, out there in the world, because it, it really is a little piece of us, you know, um, and our culture mostly here. In Great Falls, Keely Van Middendorp, MTN News. Thank you, Keely. Well, the entrepreneurial spirit alive yes. and well there. What a cool story. Coming up next on tonight's 530 News, it's a heated debate over where SPF stops working and more means less. Find out why. And coming up in sports, Scott has a high energy tribute to Q2's latest state champions, our Athletes of the Week. You're watching MTN News with Jay Cohn and Janelle Slade. Storm Tracker weather.